In time, Church in Martinez is asking for help as the ground under their feet is literally slipping out from under them. Second Baptist Church off Las Juntas near Thomas Street is already dealing with some serious damage. KPI X5's John Ramos explains why. The Second Baptist Church began in a Martinez basement 57 years ago. So when they moved into this building in the mid 90s, it felt like a mansion. Each week, church members come here to worship. But it is out back that their faith is being tested. The building backs up to Alhambra Creek, and heavy storms have eroded the bank nearly to its foundation. The property lost its retaining wall in a 2005 flood, and the problem has steadily worsened over the years. The concrete walkway now hangs precariously over the creek, and inside, the floor is cracked and the kitchen slants dramatically. Common sense tells us that we cannot continue uh, at the rate this is going, we're, we're going to be gone. We're going to have to find some other way to um, hold worship. The cost just to level the foundation and build a new retaining wall would be about $250,000 money the working class congregation doesn't have. The city says property owners are responsible for their half of the creek, but the opposite bank is protected by a concrete cover built in the 1940s by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. I think part of the blame should be on them. When they did that wall on that side, they should have did this side too. This church provides food and comfort to the poor and down and out. But now, in a city that spent money to protect a beaver's dam on the same creek, the church seems to be on its own. It's ironic that people can do more for animals than they do for people, mm -hmm. and that's sad. We want to remain here in Martinez, and so we're just appealing now for some help with our building and with our grounds. The church has set up a push pay account online and is hoping the public will donate enough so they can make the repairs and keep their mansion from slipping away. In Martinez, John Ramos, KPIX5.